Many people are familiar with many of the past threats that we have faced and quelled in World of Warcraft. A lot of people may be familiar with the downfall of Menethil, the corruption of Naltharia in the Earth Warder, and the bloodlust of Garrosh Hellscream. But many people do not know why the gates of Ankadaj were open, or why we were fighting the Silithid to begin with. In today's video, we will be talking about World of Warcraft, the War of the Shifting Sands. The War of the Shifting Sands is an ancient battle that had taken place nearly a thousand years ago between the Night Elves, the Dragon Aspects, and the Karaji led by the Old God Cthune in an attempt for the Karaji to lay siege to the whole of Azeroth and therefore raise the lands in order for it to be risen from the ashes by the will of the Old God Cthune. But before we talk about the War of the Shifting Sands, we must first dwell back into the past of the Karaji, their story, their origin, and even their master. Eons ago, the Titans waged war against the malevolent and ruthless beings known as the Old Gods. Whereas the Titans had a mission to instill peace and order within the galaxy, the mission of the Old Gods was the exact opposite. The chaotic beings fed off of chaos and their sole purpose was to bestow as much anarchy as possible so long as they were willing and able. Although the Old Gods were incredibly powerful and it took the might of many Titans just to subdue a single Old God, the evil ones were inevitably defeated. It was assumed that there were five Old Gods within the world of Azeroth, all of whom were either killed or imprisoned far underground by the Titans. Yog saron was imprisoned under the titanic city of Ulduar, Enzoth was defeated and imprisoned although his location is yet to be known. Yeshraj was killed in the war and infested Azeroth with his last breaths before his death. An unknown old god's fate still remains a mystery, and Cthune was presumably killed after his battle with a titan in Silithus. As a result, his mortal shell was left behind to rot. Cthune, however, actually did survive the war, and he had already begun to amass an army strong enough to conquer the whole of Azeroth once more. This army was the Kadaji. The Kadaji are a race of insectoid creatures that reside within the southern quadrant of Silithus. The most notable leaders of their army include Battleguard Satura, General Rajax, and the Prophet Skarim, whom all answer to the twin emperors Vek Nilash and Vek Lor, who command their legion from the sanctuary of their temple on Kiraj. The origin of the Kadaji goes as the following. Before the Great Sundering, a mysterious lake of powerful energies was located at the heart of the world. This lake that bore this incredible power was known as the Well of Eternity. From this magical ether, the Silithid were born into the world of Azeroth, and when they made their presence known to the old god Cthune, Cthune became very interested in their race's capabilities and vowed to sunder the world in an unmerciful grasp once more with the aid of these insectoid creatures. The Old One created avatars from the Silithid in its own image grotesque, yet menacing and powerful. Their physical appearances alone were intended to strike fear into the hearts of their enemies. For if Cthune's enemies felt fear, then they simply have already lost. These avatars were known as the Akir, and before their culture was shattered, the race of the Akir consisted of the Nerubians, the Silithid, and also the Mantid. The Akir were intelligent insectoids, but they were also greatly expansionistic and incredibly evil. These spawns of Cthune were obsessed with eradicating all non-insect life from the lands of Kalimdor, and it is because of this major obsession that the Akir in time developed a mighty enemy that threatened to destroy the whole of their empire. This mighty enemy was the Trolls, for it was in this time that the Gurubashi and Amani empires ruled the lands. The Akir waged war against the Trolls, and this war lasted for thousands of years. Although the Trolls failed to win a true victory over the Akir, their strength of willpower and persistence alone was enough to split the Akir into two colonies. Those that fled north resided within Ajol Nerub and were to be known as the Nerubians, while those who fled back into Kalimdor overthrew a Titan research station near Uldum and named it An Kiraj. They were now known as the Kiraji. With the Akir driven into complete exile, the twin troll empires resumed complete dominion over their lands, thinking themselves victorious while the Old One remained hidden below, waiting for the right time to establish his grasp upon the world of the living once more. Time flowed and thousands of years passed before the threat of the Kadaji made itself present once more. 
Cthune and his armies once again pursued the crusade in purging the lands of Azeroth from any non-insectoid life. The world, which was once under the Shroud of the Trolls, was now in the control of the Night Elves, the only humanoid species that posed themselves as a threat to the Old One's plans. Unfortunately, even the Night Elves were facing a losing war. Whereas the Trolls were able to stand their ground for thousands of years, the Night Elves were facing devastating losses within only a few months. The Night Elves were always on the defensive, they were always outnumbered, and they were always being driven back. Within a few weeks, the whole of Silithus and Ungoro were engulfed by the Karaji. The Elven army were forced to retreat all the way to the borders of Tenaris, where their leader, Vandral Staghelm, sought the aid of the Bronze Dragonflight. Initially, the Dragonflight refused to interfere with the war until the Caverns of Time was suddenly and unexpectedly attacked by the Reckless Kadaji. Nostormu and the Bronze Dragonflight then aided the Night Elves in the campaign to retake Silithus and push back the Kadaji back to their unholy temple of an -Kidash. But even with the might of the Aspect of Time aiding them, the Kadaji and Silithid still proved to be overwhelming. Anachronos, Nostormu's heir, then proceeded to call upon the aid of the remaining Dragonflights, but even with all of the Dragonflights aiding the Night Elves, the Kadaji were still on the victorious side of the war. Their numbers were unending and their power was beyond measure, for the old god Cthune chose his subjects well. The Dragons and Staghelm then became desperate, and together, they devised a plan to end this war once and for all. Their plan was to contain the Kadaji within the city, by creating a barrier that would confine them until a more hopeful stratagem could be devised. With the blessing and aid of Alun, the barrier was erected before their eyes, and it separated the Kadaji's armies which caused them to suffer a devastating defeat. The winged Kadaji who attempted to fly over the barrier were met with an invisible obstruction that it could not bypass, while the Kadaji who were trapped on the outside were quickly slaughtered by the dragons and the night elves. The dragon flights then stated to Fandral that should anyone wish to gain entrance into this ancient city and bypass the magical barrier which isolated it from Azeroth, all they need do is to strike the scepter which contained the sole source of the magical barrier against the gong, and the gates of an -Kadaj would be open. Fandral, still fueled by the rage of the soldiers that he had lost in this accursed war, took the scepter and broke it in an attempt to contain the threat for all eternity. This action and event angered the Bronze Dragonflight and created a rift between the allies that has existed even to this day. It took the might of all of the Dragonflights and the Night Elves to simply contain the Kadaji, not defeat them, but contain them. And as the old god Cthune that slumbered below slowly awakened, so too did the Kadaji Empire prove to be a threat once more. Empowered by their Dark Master, the Insectoid Legion prepared their army for a worldwide assault to avenge their bitter defeat at the hands of both the Night Elves and the Trolls thousands of years ago. As the gates of the Forgotten City were unlocked, the horde of Kadaji were unleashed and the heroes of Azeroth rallied together in a mission to push back the Kadaji once more and to battle their way into their lair where they could finally put an end to Cthune's tyranny once and for all.